Hi, this is Ecoelectric. And Rivian has given its first details on the R2 platform, in a letter to shareholders revealing the company has its focus set on its next all-new EV platform already. Let's get into it. Rivian is hard at work coordinating production for its R1T truck, R1S, SUV, and Amazon delivery all-electric cars, which have battled to maintain full capacity due to supply chain issues that everyone is experiencing right now, but that hasn't prevented the business from thinking ahead. Rivian revealed further specifics of its so-called impending R2 platform of new vehicles in a shareholder letter delivered some weeks ago, which would likely be priced and marketed as more cheap alternatives in the business range. Rivian has focused its roadmap, according to the letter to shareholders, to ensure that the $17 billion of cash we had on our balance sheet as of March 31, 2022 can support the 2025 launch and ramp of our R2 vehicle platform. Rivian says the R2 will be the next step in expanding the brand portfolio globally across different price points and form factors, but the letter does not elaborate on what shape the R2 platform might take, only that it will be critical to Rivian's long-term success. It's been said that the R2 platform will reduce the size and design for a range of smaller vehicles, including trucks and SUV. The R2 lineup is expected to offer dual and tri-motor powertrain combinations, but not the quad-motor system seen on the bigger, beefier R1 platform that underlies the R1T and R1s. It's unknown whose platform other reported cars, such as a sportier Jeep Wrangler rival, may use, but Rivian believes it is prepared to increase manufacturing capacity to 150,000 units per year in the future, which remains the company's top focus. Rivian CEO mentioned that out of almost 170 hours available a week, a small portion of those are actually being used for production. This may be cause for concern as the company is expected to crank out 10,000 all-electric vans for Amazon's delivery fleet by the end of this year. There are also 83,000 R1T and R1's reservations on the books to tend to as well. To move things along, the assembly plant in Normal, Illinois recently made adjustments to its assembly line to allow the production of 200 R1T trucks a week. Assuming a 52-week schedule that puts total units produced at just over 10,000, which is still a far cry from the 150,000 total vehicles expected to run off the line starting next year. Scaring does believe that the semiconductor shortage should normalize next year, however, which would help things tremendously. Scaring also revealed the company is looking to implement new electric motors, which are being developed in-house, a new unique 800-volt battery and a new platform, the R2, for smaller vehicles that will be more affordable than its current $67,500 flagship truck, the R1T. Rivian has already trademarked some names we expect to see linked to future vehicles, such as R2T, R2S, R2A, R2C, R2R, and R2X. Nothing has been confirmed, but we do believe the R2S and R2X to be associated with a sedan and crossover, both of which may see production at Rivian's new plant in Georgia. According to Rivian, the normal Illinois production plant has demonstrated its ability to function at full capacity and is now apparently only restricted by supply chain support in the worldwide market. On top of Amazon's purchase of 100,000 delivery vans, the firm claims it has received over 90,000 pre-orders for its R1T and R1S pickup and SUV versions. Rivian has not yet revealed when the first new car based on the R2 platform will be released, but we should know more before the end of next year. And that's all we have for today. Tell us what you think about the R2 platform in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this one coming in the future. See you later.